Hi everybody, I'm Clara Hermit. This is Fit State of Mind and with me right now I have Shaka Bars. Sir, how are you? Well, go on. I'm very well, thank you. So what kind of stuff are we going to be doing today? We are going to be doing calisthenics, we're going to be doing biometrics, we're going to be doing um, interval training and some military partner training. So it's fun. Military partner training. Sounds scary. I've actually done it before, so I do know. Battle PT. I know what's going to happen. My friend, I've brought my friend along, who's over there, um, and she's looking very scared. Is there anything that you want to ask him before we start this? Am I going to be all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm first aid trained. <laughs> What you find difficult? Running. Running? <laughs> Not for me. Okay. Okay, I'll bear that I've in mind. I've got a little problem. Okay. okay. We'll be able to work around running and then I'll make you do loads of running anyway. <laughs> okay, sound good? Yeah, which way is the pub? <laughs> <laughs> what would be your top three tips to having a fit state of mind? Learn to love yourself. I'd say meditation is definitely key. You need to be alone with your thoughts at least once a day. Set some some reasonable goals. Don't try and say that you're gonna look like Beyonce in 10 minutes because it's not gonna happen. And when you don't look like Beyonce in 10 minutes, uh, you, you might knock your confidence. Yeah. Also, just be consistent. Like I find with a lot of people, or go to the gym at the beginning of the year, talk <laughs> about the gym for the rest of the year, go on holiday, and. Ten years in a row, they're not happy with their body, and yet they still look the same ten years in a row. So yeah. It's about consistency and affirmation. I find that a lot of the time, certainly for myself, that food can be an addiction for a lot of people as well. Yeah, definitely. From when we are first taken to school, from when we are born into this society, we have an unhealthy relationship with food. Sweets are given as a treat. and you should only eat when you're hungry and then you should eat not until you're stuffed but just until you're you know you can get on with the rest of your life if your body is always filled with toxins then it's difficult for you to ever have a clear mind addiction to any toxins is is escapism and and uh, it's it's usually uh, a sign or a cry for help that something else is, is wrong in life how do you get from that place of having a really unhealthy relationship with food to having a healthy relationship with food knowledge and Seeking out knowledge, um, studying information. A lot of people want to be amazing at their job, so you know they might try all their life to be the best lawyer or the best PR person. But a lot of people aren't as concerned, which is surprising Insane. to me, about what they're putting in their body. And a lot of people don't have knowledge of what they're putting in their body. They don't read what they're putting in their body, and they don't really care. Um, if there was one book that you should tell everyone to read, what would it be? Well, I love Malcolm X's autobiography. But I would say the book that I've been reading recently is a book uh, called Holistic Health by Dr. Africa. And it basically talks about holistic medicines and, and all of the ways that you can heal yourself through food. Modern medicine's only been around for 150 years. Before yeah. that, there was only alternative medicine. It's yeah. not alternative. 70% of the tablets that you, you take come from plants anyway. So cool. if you can just get the plant, get the plant. I've just taken part in Spartan Fam, the Shaka Bars, and with all of these beautiful people. I even dragged my friend Sarah Bailey along. This is proof there is exercise happening everywhere, and if you want to do it, you can do it. This has been Fit State of Mind. Make sure that you subscribe. Lose the dead and gone. Left me here to weep in my